Hello. So we are going to do our math lesson. And today I'm going to do the math lesson with you right here on this screen. So I'm going to share my screen and we are going to be discussing order of operations, which can be super, super tricky, but we're going to break it down and we're just going to take our time and go through it. And you'll see that you'll be able to do these long problems without any issues because you have learned the order of operations. We're gonna start first with exponent review. So the exponent is this little number that you see up here in the corner. And that, co that number tells us how many times we are going to do this right here. So I'm going to show you that we are going to, yeah, my tools, my thing is in the way. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna get this one first. And eight with an exponent of two means that we are going to take eight times eight. Now, eight times eight is a tricky multiplication fact for sure. The eights are not easy. It is okay for you to use a calculator. It is okay for you to use your multiplication chart when we are doing the order of operations. Eight times eight equals 64. Okay, then we have five to the power of three. The exponent is three. So we have this, we would read this as eight squared, and we would read this as five cubed. That means we're gonna take five times five. <laughs> My pen works so well, times five. And you could probably do five times five times five. Five times five is what? Twenty-five, and then times five more. That one's the tricky one. Five times five is twenty-five, and then you might use your calculator for twenty-five times five. Twenty-five times five equals one hundred and twenty-five. Then we have the power of ten. And we learned that this little exponent here is going to tell us how many zeros when we have that 10, right? So we can just say right here that this power of 10 is that one with the four zeros. One, two, three, four. Count back three, put in your comma. And what is 10 with an exponent of four? 10,000, yeah, 10,000. Now you can do that in your calculator to check it. If we do 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, you'll see on your calculator that you get 10,000, right? So that's how we are using the exponents. Now some, like I said, some of the multiplication facts might be a little bit tricky. And that's okay. You can use a calculator. You can use your multiplication chart. Sometimes the numbers will get higher and higher. And that's why I'd rather you use your calculator than to try and go crazy figuring out something that you don't need to figure out because you understand what you're supposed to do. As long as you can line up your numbers and you can tell me what this means, I'm okay with you using that calculator. Now, let's go on to the next slide. We are going to solve this problem. Excuse me. This sign right here just means multiplication. It's, a, it's another way of saying that we're gonna multiply. So you can use the X or you could use this sign. You might see this sign sometimes. Now, we need to solve this problem. Hmm. And I'm wondering if the answer is 36 or is it 16? Hmm. What would we do? What do you think? Let me 
don't you try to solve that? I'll give you a minute or two. Is it tricky or is it easy? Hmm. What do you think? Well, let me show you this, and this might give you a clue. When we are solving problems, we're going to use this crazy Aunt Sally, this lady right here, to remember what order we do our operations in. And it says, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The P for please is the P for parentheses. That means we do the parentheses first. The excuse is the E for exponents. That means we do the exponents next. My dear is for multiplication and or division. We use them at the same time, whichever comes first. So if it's only multiplication, we use multiplication. If it's only division, we use division next. If they're both in there, we use whichever one comes first, first. We read left to right. And then finally, we have Aunt Sally, which is addition and subtraction. And the same thing is true for addition and subtraction as it is for multiplication and division. So we use whichever one is there. And if they're both there, we use whichever one is first, first. A little bit confusing, but don't worry, we're gonna go over it. So if we go back to this problem and we think, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, hmm. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Let's see. Well, there are no parentheses, so we don't have to worry about that. There are no exponents, so we don't have to worry about the exponents. So please excuse my dear multiplication and then division. Hmm. I do see multiplication, but I don't see any division. So we're going to do the multiplication first. So we're going to do this part first, multiplication comes first, even though this number is in front. So what is two times six? Mm -hmm. It's 12. So we rewrite the problem. Four plus 12, and then you can solve it. And which answer is it? Is it 36? <laughs> or is it 16? Yeah, it's 16. It could have been 36 if we did it out of order. If we did four plus two is six and six times six is 36. That's out of order though. So it's not the answer. The answer is actually 16. And this is why the order of operations is super important when we're solving these problems. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We need to remember that. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. She might be a little rude sometimes. <laughs> okay, so here we have, a, the other way you might hear this is PEDMAS, PEM, excuse me, PEMDAS, PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. PEMDAS, right? The P is for the parentheses. The E is the exponents, the powers and the square roots. The multiplication, division is the M and the D, and the addition and subtraction is the A and the S. And we always do it left to right, okay? So it, like I said, if there's both addition and subtraction, we're going to do whatever comes first on the left before we do the one on the right, okay? So here we have what looks like we are gonna fill in the, this form, okay? So we have the base of three, the power is two. So if we were to fill out the exponent here, the exponent would be two, it would be the, that's the power, right? So the exponent is two. The expanded form would look like this, three times three, and the standard form would be three 
to the power of two, okay? Same thing here, we have a base of eight, an exponent or power of three. So the exponent is that three. And this would look like eight times eight times eight or eight to the power of three, eight cubed. So here we have our base is two, our exponent is four. So the exponent is four. It's silly that we're doing this twice, but what would the expanded form look like? If I have two, four times. So I would say two times two times two. It would be, oh, I need how many of them? I need four of them times two. So it would be two to the power of four. Can you do this last one? This is going to be the exponent. This is your base. So we have two how many times? Yes, three times, two times two times two. And what is that standard form going to look like? We have our base two to the power of three. Yes, good job, nice work. Okay, so we need to find the first expression, okay? So like I said, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So we are going to look through this paper right here and we're gonna find what we need to do first. Now I'm gonna give you a little clue up here. Right, PEMDAS right up here. So first we're looking for the parentheses. So in this example, our first thing to do would be this eight times five. See, here's the answer over here. In this one, we don't have any parentheses, so we can forget that. We don't have any exponents, so we could forget that. So our first thing to look for is multiplication or division. Let's see. That's adding, adding, adding. Oh, division. So our first expression that we need to do is this 16 divided by four. That would be the first expression, okay? Now we have, we'll do number two together and then we'll do number, th number four together. And then I'm going to have you do one like this all on your own, okay? So we're going to first look for the parentheses. Oh. I already see the parentheses, so I know I need to do this first, but holy cow, do they like to confuse us all the time. There's more expressions inside that. So first we did the parentheses. Then we need to look for exponents. I don't see any exponents. Then we need to do multiplication or division. Hmm, I see division right here. So we're gonna divide nine into 90. So what times nine equals 90? And then we're gonna add that to the seven, right? Because we're still doing the parentheses. And then we're going to do division. I'm gonna change the color. And then after all of that, we would do, <laughs> we would do this addition, whatever this expression is, plus whatever this expression winds up being. Crazy, right? These are big problems. Now let's go down to number four and we'll go over that. So are there any parentheses in number four? Nope, good. Are there exponents in number four? There are, there are two of them. So first we're going to need to figure out what seven to the power of two is and six to the power of two. 
first we need to solve those before we can solve anything else. So my expression would event, these are, the, these are the first two that we're going to do, right? Yeah, okay. So you can see how we have to go through that checklist of PEMDAs. We have to go through and find which, what's gonna come first, then next, then after that in order to solve these problems, okay? All right, so we are going to, oh, I clicked on that one already. And um, we're going to work on an example using this PEMDAS, okay? We must rewrite the equation after each step. So let's look here. Do we have any parentheses? No parentheses. Do we have any exponents? No exponents, no little numbers up in the corner. Do we have multiplication or division? We do, we have the division sign right here. So this is what we are going to do first. So we're gonna start rewriting our, equate, our expression. We have 40, I'm gonna leave that alone for now, plus, and now we need to solve six divided by two. So what times two equals six? If I was to take six and put it into two equal groups, It's three, okay? Then we have 40 plus three. And what is 40 plus three equal? Did you say 43? I hope so, 43, okay? All right, now we have 24 divided by four plus three times two. Blah! That's crazy, right? Remember, we're gonna go left to right, always. But we are going to start with the parentheses. No parentheses, then exponents, no exponents, then multiplication or division, whichever comes first. So in this problem, division comes first. So that's what we need to do first, because I see not only division in our problem, but I also see multiplication. But the division, we read from left to right, the division comes first, so that's what we need to do first. So 24 divided by four. This is to asking me what times four equals 24. Or on a piece of scrap paper, you can make four groups and put those 24 into those four groups equally. And you'll find out that 24 divided by four equals six because six times four is 24. Now we need to do multiplication. So three times two equals six, good. And then we pull down this addition sign and what is six plus six? It is, it's 12. So all of that work just to get to the answer 12. Okay, let's try another one. I have, oh, this one doesn't have parentheses, but it does have an exponent. So I'm gonna do my exponent first and four times four times four times four, right? Remember, that's what that was going to look like but only two times because <laughs> it's to the power of two. So it's gonna look like four times four. What is four times four? We've been working on those fours. So what is four times four? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Sixteen. Then we have our two and that multiplication sign. So two times 16. Now you can solve two times 16 in two ways. 
you can say two times one is, that's not a one, it's a 10. Two times 10, that's one 10, is 20. Two times six is 12. And what is 20 plus 12? Or you can think of two 16s and do 16 plus 16. Either way, it's going to bring you to 42. And that will be your answer. This one is very busy. It has a lot of things going on in it, but remember, we're going to do the parentheses first. 25 minus 10. Then look for exponents, no exponents. So after you figure out 25 minus 10, then you're going to do multiplication or division, whichever comes first. So we do the multiplication and then we do the division. And then finally, we do the adding. Okay. And this might be a problem that I put up for you to do on your own. Hint. This one, we do the parentheses first, right? So easy peasy squeezy. What is five plus five? You know that, right? So when you get your answer, your answer is going to need to then do the exponents to the third. So you're gonna take your answer and you're gonna multiply it three times. Or you're gonna look at the power because that will tell you how many zeros to put in. And then your problem is solved. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you this order of operations video here because that's way too long, but I will show it to you tomorrow when we meet when I show the rest of the kids, okay? And I just wish you the best of luck. You're going to work on a couple more that I will give to you, a couple more examples at home and we'll see how it goes, all right? I am not going to assign math workbook pages today, but I'll likely assign some math work pages tomorrow. We'll do a few together and then you'll do some on your own, okay? I hope that you have a great day. I know this was a long video, but order of operations, not easy. So I wanted to go over them with you. Okay. I hope that you have a great day, Arabella, or whoever's watching this for a second time. <laughs> I will talk to you soon.